Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about um, chapter 8, salt. Okay, so there are two types of salt. One is known as soluble salt, while the other one is known as insoluble salt. To prepare a salt, you need to know whether the salt is soluble or insoluble. Okay, so from here, nitrate is all soluble salts, no matter it reacts with which type of ion. Sodium potassium and ammonium are also all soluble salts while for sulfate it is soluble but when it reacts with lead to barium and calcium it will become insoluble salts you can memorize it with sopopati Okay, while for chloride, it is also soluble, except when it react with lead to silver and mercury, it will become insoluble salt. While for oxide ion, carbonate ion, and hydroxide ion, they are all insoluble salt, except when it react with potassium sodium and ammonium okay okay this you can memorize it with persatuan agama hindu okay wow okay sorry but this you can memorize with with ganinia okay so remember nitrate potassium sodium and ammonium are all soluble salts no matter it react with which type of ion so to prepare soluble salts, you can prepare it through four types of reaction. The first type is acid react with metal to form salt and hydrogen gas. Okay, for example, when sulfuric acid react with magnesium, you you will um get magnesium sulfate. And hydrogen gas okay okay so for this method it is known as displacement reaction but you need but you need to be careful when you use this reaction this is because for example you cannot prepare copper sulfate by using displacement reaction this is because um, for example when copper react with sulfuric acid you will not form copper sulfate. Why? This is because copper is less electropositive than hydrogen in the electrochemical series. Therefore, copper cannot displace hydrogen ion in the sulfuric acids. The second type is acids react with metal oxides to form salts and water for example when sulfuric acids react with magnesium oxide you will get magnesium sulfate and water the third reaction is acid react with metal hydroxide To form salts and water. For sodium, potassium, and ammonium, you can only prepare it through these methods. This method is also known as neutralization method. Okay, for example, sulfuric acid react with magnesium hydroxide. To form magnesium sulfate and water. For the last metal, you can prepare it with acid, react with metal carbonate to form salt, water, and carbon dioxide gas. Since it is carbonate, 
therefore it will form carbon dioxide gas. For example, sulfuric acid react with magnesium carbonate to form magnesium sulfate, water, and carbon dioxide. Also, let us prepare a soluble salt. Okay, um, let's use the second method, which is acid <coughs> react with metal oxides to form salt and water. Okay, so for example, um, to prepare copper sulfate, we need sulfuric acid and copper oxide powder. Okay, so first, you need to heat the sulfuric acid. After you heat the sulfuric acid, pour the copper oxide powder into the sulfuric acid. Then, stir it by using glass root. You need to add the copper to oxide powder until it cannot dissolve anymore. This is to ensure the sulfuric acid has been fully reacted with the copper oxide powder. Okay, after that, you need to filter it. This is to remove the excess copper oxide powder. Then, heat the copper sulfate until one third of the solution is left. After it, you need to left to cool at room temperature. Then, filter it. Lastly, rinse it with distilled water and dry it between two filter paper. Since copper to sulfate are blue in color, you will get a blue precipitate lastly. Okay, now let's talk about how to prepare insoluble salt. To prepare insoluble salt, you need to use double decomposition through precipitation. What does, what does it mean? It means that to prepare an insoluble salt, you need two soluble solutions, which is nitric solution and sodium or potassium solution. For example, to prepare lead to iodide, you need two soluble solution, which is lead nitrate solution and sodium iodide or sodium potassium iodide solution. Okay. Okay. So now let's prepare lead to iodide. First, you need to pour the lead to nitrate solution into the sodium iodide or potassium iodide solution. Then, stir it by using glass rods. Once you stir it, you will find that a, red, a yellow precipitate is formed. This is because it 2 iodide is yellow in color. Okay, then filter it to obtain the little iodide through residue. Okay, lastly, clean it by using, rinse it by using distilled water and dry it between two filter paper. Okay.